Today's episode, Cur Cribs Curves. <laughs> Gumshoes. Carmen San Diego's throng of thorny thugs has thieved again. This time, they've wrangled a raveled road in San Francisco. The Guinness Book of World Records says that San Francisco's Lombard Street is the crookedest street in the world. The Lombard Street S-curves were built on San Francisco's Russian Hill in the 1920s. Back then, the switchbacks allowed cars and horse-drawn carriages to safely get down the treacherous slope. These days, Lombard's a big tourist attraction, and the view from the top is quite a thrill. But now, this crooked street has been cribbed. Pick the slick, driving a souped-up street sweeper, swept it up and swiped it. Your mission, gumshoes, out trick Vic. Return Lombard Street to San Francisco and then capture Carmen San Diego. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Greg Spatz. Danny Asar Sayed. Joshua Schur. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Oh, God. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Hi, guys. Thanks very much. Hi, guys. How are you? Okay, listen, uh, you've heard about the case, so we're going to get started now. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime any one of you answers a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Vic the Slick has stolen Lombard Street, and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Vic. <laughs> He's made the crime magazine worst dressed list more often than any other crook. And here's what we know so far. Now, gumshoes, this bulletin just in from Acme Zigzag Net. Mm. Vic the Slick has been spotted in Cleveland, Ohio, and Chicago, Illinois, and Billings, Montana. It, wait a second. He's on the U.S. interstate highway system. The interstates connect all the states in the contiguous U.S and thousands of cities and towns. Now, the numbered routes might seem random, but they make sense. For two-digit signs, even numbers indicate east-west routes, and odd numbers are north-south routes. Now, you'll often see three-digit signs around major cities. Now, if the first digit is even, then it's a loop around the city. And if it's odd, it's a branch of the main route that goes into the city. Now, if you happen to see a sign like this, then you're probably found Vic. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, name the interstate highway. Is it I-90, I-55, or I-10? Remember the clues that we heard? Vic was spotted in Cleveland, Chicago, and Billings. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find Vic the Slick and Lombard Street. And we have three detectives here who are going to try to do it for us today. Okay, Annie's ready. Hold her right up there for me. So is Joshua. And Greg is having a little bit of difficulty there. You got it? Okay, Greg, we'll go with you. What do you say? Well, Greg, I had a tough decision. But I chose <laughs> I-55. I-55. Annie, what do you say? I chose I-55, too. I-55. Joshua, what do you say? I chose I-55. Everyone said I-55. Everybody's wrong. I'm sorry. It was I-90. Oh, well, we'll take a little break here, find out about you guys. Greg, I know you had some tough uh, decisions to make there, but uh, tell me about yourself. Well, I enjoy playing baseball, basketball, soccer, badminton, and cricket. Cricket? You do not. I, I enjoy playing cricket with my friends in my <laughs> spare leisure time. <laughs> Do you guys know each other, I take it, from school? Yeah, we went to the same okay. school. But you do play cricket, for real? Yeah. Very good. Okay, Annie, tell me about, your, <laughs> tell me about yourself, Annie. Well, I like traveling a lot, and I, that's how I know many different languages. Yes. I can speak Arabic, I can speak English, and Indian, and English. Wonderful. Yeah, and I'm learning French. So. Wonderful. Well, nice to have you on the case. And Joshua, something very strange happened to you when you were in fourth grade, right? Yeah, I got a pencil sharp and a globe stuck in my finger, and I had to be rushed to the emergency room. 
<laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. I, I hope that maybe it might help you out when you're in cases today. So uh, anyway, welcome all of you. Enjoy yourself. Please welcome them all to the show, if you would, please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Had a tough break on that first one. Nobody got anywhere, but uh, not to worry because we have lots of clues left. But Greg, you're at 50, Annie 50, Joshua 50 crime bucks. Lots of... Wait, something's going on out here. Let's uh, go find out what it is. I'm not sure exactly. Hey! What? Hey! What? What's the word on the street? Hey, man, you don't have to yell. Greg, the word on the street is industria. But that means industry in Spanish. Now, industry's growing really fast in Mexico, and Vicks in the city, where about a quarter of all of Mexico's factories are located, and they get their power from a big natural gas pipeline that runs into the city from nearby Texas. Hey, 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 hey! What? Hey, 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 hey! What? I, I, just, uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Because courtesy still counts around here, mister. Okay, gum shoes. It really does. Uh, name the uh, Mexican city, if you will, please. Is it Guadalajara, Mexico City, or Monterey? Remember the clues that we heard? City where about one quarter of all Mexican factories are located and close to Texas. Joshua already has an answer. Greg does too. Annie, we need an answer from you. And now she's ready. Greg, what do you say? I chose Monterey. Monterey. What do you think, Annie? I, I chose Monterey. Monterey. Joshua, what do you say? Guadalajara. Guadalajara. The answer we're looking for is Monterey. Nice job, Greg and Annie. Okay, so that means Greg and Annie, you're on the board now. You both have 60 crime bucks. Joshua is still at 50, but still in this game. Okay, guys, that only means one thing. It's time now for the lightning round, which means all of these questions had to do with Vic's most recent known whereabouts, which is Mexico. For every correct, correct answer, you get five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. And here we go. The Chihuahua, a small Mexican hairless dog, was considered a tasty snack by the ancient Aztecs. The Aztecs had another unusual use for the dogs. Did they use the Chihuahuas as earrings, hood ornaments, or bed warmers? Greg. Bed warmers? Bed warmers is right. Nice job. Five for you. All right. Now, I want you to watch closely. This, see this here? This is a, uh, is a Mexican jumping bean. Okay, you see that? Of course, this is a magnet that goes to the Mexican jumping bean because we couldn't find a real thing. But we did the best that we could. Here is the question. For a real Mexican jumping bean, uh, what makes it jump? Is it the heat from my hand, a caterpillar inside, or a teeny tiny battery? Greg. The caterpillar inside? That's right. Five for you. Okay. We do the very best we can. Question number three. Mexico City is considered the second largest city in the world, although that second place has been disputed. Which city claims to be larger? Is it Tokyo, Shanghai, or New York? Joshua. Um, Tokyo. Tokyo's right. Nice job. Fire for you. Okay, that means at the end of two in a lightning round, Greg, you have 70, Annie, 60, and Joshua, 55 crime bucks. Very tight, close, nice game, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, for Greg, our Greg, come into my office. Yeah, Chico, be right there. You guys stay here. I'm going to check with her. This looks like it might be serious. Excuse me. Chief, whoa! Chief, what's happening today? Well, the office is being balanced today. Balanced? Hmm. What do you mean, balanced? Well, as a building gets older, it settles, usually unevenly, and uh, every few years, the Acme Balancing Bureau, they come in and they rebalance my office. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a dog. Yeah. Uh, how close are you to nabbing Carmen? Well, that's a very good question, Chief. You know, she can be very elusive sometimes. Sometimes she's over here, and we think we've got her, and then we got to move back over this way, and she's right back. Are you feeling okay there, Chief? You look maybe sick. I get the point, Greg. I would hope so, Chief. You know, sometimes when I think of some of the capers she's pulled, yeah. it, it uh, turns my stomach, yeah. too. Uh, what do you think we ought to give the gumshoe that captures Carmen San Diego? You know, I've been thinking about this, and part of me says... <laughs> Greg! Uh, Let's give the gumshoe who nabs Carmen San Diego a free trip to anywhere in North America. <laughs> yeah. Because that way, if she's over here, right. we're going to know she's right there. And then right before she moves, we'll be right over there. And Greg, Chief. You don't look so good. Greg, I'll feel a lot better when you go away. Chief, someday you're gonna miss me. You know, it constantly amazes me the things you learn around here. I never knew that we had our offices balanced, but I'm glad I do now. Wait a minute, Joshua, would you go this way a little bit? 
He's going to tilt more. Okay. He's okay. All right, guys, remember, we're still looking for Vic the Slick and Lombard Street. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Vic and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Acme's after you. Head for a Central American country southwest of Honduras. Uh, but Carmen, they've been fighting a civil war for more than ten years. There's a ceasefire, Vic. Everyone's hoping it will last, especially for the children's sake. Kids were fighting, too? No, but many were injured or killed. And some schools were closed for years because of the conflict. In war, everyone gets hurt. I'm glad the fighting stopped, Carmen. I don't want to get hurt. I just want to get rich. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it El Salvador, Costa Rica, or Guatemala? Remember the clues that we heard southwest of Honduras? Civil war for more than 10 years, but now there's a ceasefire. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Greg's already ready, and so is Annie, and so is Joshua. Greg, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose El Salvador. El Salvador. What do you think, Annie? I chose El Salvador. El Salvador. Joshua? Guatemala. Guatemala. The answer we're looking for is El Salvador. Nice job, Greg and Annie. <laughs> okay, so Greg, you have 80, Annie 70, and Joshua 55 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Now, for our next clue, I'd say it's time to check the airways on the World Band Radio. <laughs> Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you would, please. Is it Botswana? Zambia or Swaziland? Remember the uh, clues that we heard? One of the world's richest diamond mines, Kalahari Desert, and borders South Africa. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Greg and Joshua ready? So is Annie. Annie is now ready. Greg, we'll start with you. What do you say? I decided on Botswana. Botswana. What do you think, Annie? I thought it was Zambia. Zambia. What do you think, Joshua? Botswana. Botswana. The answer we're looking for is Botswana. Nice job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kind of surprised yourself on that one, eh, Greg? You're up to 90 crime bucks now. Annie has 70, Joshua 65 crime bucks. Now, we have just heard that Vic Slick has left Botswana, so let's pick up the chase. What chase? I have nothing to say. Each one of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, listen carefully. Here we go. Vic stashed his street in the capital of Morocco. Name it, Greg. Rabat. Rabat is right. He angled his way into Algeria. What mountain range did he cross? Joshua. Uh, the Pyrenees. Sorry, it's Atlas. He stole across the southeastern border. What country is he in? Greg. Niger. Niger's right. He took a powder to Tripoli. What country is he in now? Joshua. Libya's right. He skipped town and headed for Lake Nasser. Name the country. Greg. Egypt. Egypt is right. Nice job. That means at the end of the light of the uh, chase round, Greg has 105, Annie 70, Joshua 70. Nice job, guys. Very nice. Now it is time for the final clue of this round, which means now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. As always, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, guys. Here is a portion of the world where we think Vic is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the, at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Now, for our next clue, we turn to an informant from Acme Explorer Net. Take a look. Forget these other guys. I'm the top man here, Vasco da Gama. I sailed all the way around Africa. I found a sea route from Europe to India. And now, my greatest achievement, I found Vic the Slick. He's in my birthplace near Lisbon. When I was around, he was a beautiful fishing village. But now, the place has a tanker port, a huge oil refinery, noise, traffic, and pollution. Fa! The age of the explorers is over. 
and the age of the mess makers is here. Okay, thanks a lot, Vasco. All right, guys, name the town, if you would, please. Is it Kuvalia, Sinish, and Malga, Malaga? Come up with the, uh, the uh, clues. Remember, birthplace of Vasco da Gama and near Lisbon. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Once you have the answer, lay it down right there in front of you, if you will, please. Joshua's ready, so is Greg. And Annie, lay it down right there beside you. Okay, Annie's ready, too. Joshua, we're going to start with you. You have 70 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked. 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. Give you 100 if you're right. What'd you say? I said the Sinish. Uh, the uh, Sinish is, uh, mm, is right. Very good. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Takes up to 100 crime bucks. Annie, you have 70 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. If you're right, you'll go up to 80. What'd you say? I say Sinish. Sinish is right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes up to 80 crime bucks. Greg, you're in the lead right now with 105. How much did you risk? How to use some strategy, so I bet nothing. Oh, interesting. What'd you say? I just said Malaga. Malaga is not right, but you stay at 105. That means Greg and Joshua, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> stay right there, stay right there. Congratulations, guys. Andy, listen, you are a great detective. You did some wonderful things for us today, and we're, uh, we put together a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official common watch, a common t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're pounding the pavement, this handy world globe. Tough break, Chief. Okay, guys. Now what you have to do is go to uh, Portugal. You got to track down Victor Slick and bring back Lombard Street. But I want you to know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> Some shoes. The folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Portugal. Have a look. The southern province of Algarve. With narrow roads and winding lanes, the small towns of Algarve are a perfect place to hide a crooked street like Lombard. The area exports a lot of sardines packed in cans, and that's where I want you to put Vic Gumshoes. Madeira Island. The women of Madeira are famous for their embroidery, which is exported all over the world. Now, this Portuguese island was discovered thanks to the expedition sponsored by Henry the Navigator. Now, that's him in the front on that monument of the discoverers. Now, other famous Portuguese explorers include Vasco da Gama and Magellan. Boat oxen. Because some places in <laughs> Portugal have no natural harbor, boats are pulled ashore by these hard-working hoofers. About half the world's cork comes from Portugal. Cork trees aren't cut down. They're stripped. A tree can be stripped every 10 years. The trees can live to be 200 years old. Gumshoes, Vic the Slick has taken Lombard Street to Portugal. Go get him. All right, guys, here we are in Portugal. Set your stuff down right here and take a walk right over there. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find the loot, Vic, and a warrant for Vic's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Greg, you are ahead at the end of the last round. You go for Setubal. 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 Nothing there, okay? Uh, Joshua, go ahead. Chiado. Uh, Chiadu. No, nothing there. Greg. Museum Municipal. Uh, Museum Municipal. Nothing there. Sorry, Joshua. Kimara's Castle. Uh, <laughs> Kimara's Castle. No, nothing there. Greg. Alentejo. Al uh, Alenteju. No, nothing there. Sorry. Temple of Diana. What's that, Josh? Temple of Diana. Uh, Temple of Diana. The warrant. Nice job. You got the warrant. Remember, though, you have to get in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Right. Use some strategy, Josh. We'll go ahead. Um, uh, tourist office. Tourist office. Nothing there, but you found the warrant. Go ahead, Greg. Geronimo's Abbey. Uh, Geronimo's Abbey. 
Ransom and Roadway. Nice job. You got the loot now. You're on the right track. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Temple of Diana. Temple of Diana. The warrant. You got the loot. You got the warrant. You need one more. Go ahead, Greg. Madeira. Uh, Madeira. Whoa! You Come here, buddy. Nice job, man. All right. How you doing? Yeah. All right, now all you have to do now is take this chain, pull it, and put him in jail. Go ahead. Very nice. Yeah. Turn right this way. Congratulations. Congratulations. You look like you surprised yourself, did you? Yep. All right, very good. Now, listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, Joshua, you were a great detective, man. You tracked Vic all the way here. We have something very special for you. Watch. A gumshoe needs to be in touch with the whole world, and that's why I'm giving you this world band radio so you can tune into broadcasts from all around the globe. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Greg, listen, man. You got Victor Slick, you got the loot, and now you're going to get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. But what we have to know from you is where you want to go if you catch her. So, inside there's a piece of paper, there's also a pen. Do your stuff, sir. Write it down. Where do you want to go? Ah, nice choice. I like that one. Okay, you ever been there before? Nope. Well, this ought to be good then. Listen, now you just have to find out where Carmen San Diego went. That's the and this uh, phone call here may tell us all about it. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. It's for you. Hello? If I gotta make one more license plate, I'm gonna melt my polyester. Go get Carmen to help me. She's in Africa. What do you say? He said she's in Africa. Okay, then Greg and Greg are going to Africa. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Gambia, Cote d'Ivoire, Algeria, Mali, Chad, Kenya, Congo, Angola, Namibia, Sudan, Zaire, Burundi, South Africa. I feel good. Greg, let's go to the map. Oh, my. But how do you feel, Greg? I feel good. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. All right, step up here. Come here. You know what this is all about. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each with a marker. When you are right, sir, you will hear this sound. If by chance you are wrong, though, you will hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, leave that marker where it is. Come on back, and we will continue. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, you will then will win that trip. And how will that make you feel then? Good. Good. How's it make you guys feel? Come on, Greg. We're going to go up here. 45 seconds up on the clock, please. Lots of people here cheering you on. Good luck, Greg. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Gambia. 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 You gotta move faster than that, Greg. That's not it. Try it again. Come on back. Come on back. Come on. Burundi. 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 Hold on, Greg. You gotta go faster. Oh, try it again. Oh, come on. Come on. Mali. You gotta go Mali. Hold on, Gregory. Oh, yeah. Kenya. 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 That's not it. Try it again. Come on, Kenya. No. Uh, Sudan. Sudan. Oh, yeah, you got it. Congo. 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 Come on, buddy. Hold on. You got it. You got it. South Africa. South Africa. Oh. You got it. Come back. Namibia. Oh, man. You got four and 45 seconds. Give him a big round of applause because he feels good. You know, this is a tough map. This is a tough map. It's big and everything, but uh, you did a nice job. And remember, you didn't lose this thing. You got the crook. You got the loot. That ain't bad. Chief, what do you say? We're all proud of the work you did throughout the day. And for your good work, I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Not yet, not yet. Now look, now look, now you're no longer a uh, gumshoe, now you are a sleuth, which means you get to wear the official Carmen Sandiego sleuth jacket. Now you can wear it. Mm. How's that look, you guys? How's it look? Yeah, I think so. Come here, man, listen. You've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rockefeller! Do it.